Hello, this is your state senator, Len Suzio, from the state capitol here in Hartford. This is an update on some of the important legislative developments that have been occurring up here at the state capitol. I'm going to focus on the big union agreement, which has been the topic of the news, not only for this week, but for the last two months. Uh, the governor announced that he had reached an agreement with the state employee unions. Uh, he had been seeking $2 billion in concessions from the unions, and the governor announced that, that he had succeeded in getting only $1.6 billion. In other words, $400 million short of what the goal was. Furthermore, we have had the time now in the last few days to really look in detail at that package and the concessions that are in it. And one of the, the problems that we're very, very concerned about is that over one half a billion dollars, almost 600 million of the concessions are really imaginary concessions, the concessions that we can't reliably build a state budget on. So the good news is that the governor did achieve about a billion dollars of real cost savings, but the bad news is he fell about a billion dollars short of what he announced was the goal and necessary to balance Connecticut's budget. As a consequence, we're going to have quite a bit of turmoil up here in the next couple of weeks determining where that extra billion dollars of savings is going to come from. The governor has threatened to take it out on our cities and towns, and it's very, very important that you the constituents in the 13th Senate District contact the state representatives in this district and urge them to vote no on the union contract. That union contract needs to be approved by the General Assembly and if it is approved, unfortunately we will have no other choice but to, to dig savings and cost cuts in, in other areas and one of those areas the governor has threatened is the cities and towns. So if you're concerned about potential cuts in state aid to Meriden, or Middlefield or Middletown or Cheshire, it's important that you contact your state representative and urge them that when the contract vote comes up in the General Assembly, to vote no. Thank you very much. I will be giving you frequent updates on this and other important events in the next few weeks.